Okay, this is Rob Lowa of Brew, the Rose Family Freaky Fridge Entertainment. I'm here with Tyler. She's the artist from Providence, uh, and she's going to be traveling around the world. She's coming back to New York, so uh, I'm going to give you a little feeling and a little story about who she is. So look forward to it, and um, we see you soon. I'll keep you posted. Hey, T D. Bye bye. <laughs> So what is your name? Uh, my name is Tala World. Where are you from? Um, my mom is Lebanese and my dad's from Virginia and I grew up in Abu Dhabi. And my parents, they met in Kuwait um, on a job site. And my dad describes it as like my mom walking in um, in like a yellow dress on a construction site or something. and. He they, always tells a joke that he thought he was the boss, but she turned out to be the boss. She turned out to be the boss and they fell in love right there at that moment? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. And they've been together ever since. So who are you? What do you do? Um, well, right now, I think it's my last year being a student, or last month being a student, hopefully for a little while. And I'm a painter. What kind of paint you do? What kind of art you do? Um, I mean, I do everything, but at the end of the day, like, when I say everything, I mean, you know, printmaking, photography, film, because it's all, it's like, but that all, that all leads up to painting, and I make oil paintings. And it, and it runs together. And it all runs together. It's just different ways of processing the world, and sometimes you feel like your body, you know, needs to do something mindless and mechanical, and so you go through and do some printmaking. But painting is intense. It's like a relationship with yourself. Um, because you're staring like this far away from a white wall for hours on end and there's nobody there and you typically do it in silence or with music and you're always confronting yourself every time you confront something so sometimes it gets a little... What is your mission with art? Um... <clears throat> is there a message behind your art? I mean... I have like big, big world plans or like a world mission, but I don't know when that, you know, how that happens, but I feel like just, you know, living towards it. But I think that, and I don't know if art does this, I guess it's a question that I'm always asking. And I don't know if painting actually can do this because I'm always asking it, but like, you know, d can you like do, I don't know how to describe it, but like to create different relationships between people so that like, you know, when people, when someone sees something handmade or, um, sees a painting or something, I feel like something typically moves inside of them that doesn't usually happen with anything else. You know, I, I guarded a museum for a summer for 16 hours a day and every time, you know, people would do the same things in front of the same paintings and they would feel, you know, some people would cry, some people would be really excited to see it. And so maybe hopefully just like trying to figure out a way to make people think of people as people and not be afraid to like relate on a human level and I think painting gets when you paint well, you can like get to some of those um, just like base instincts that like people then can then relate to. I don't know if that makes any sense, um, but we'll see. I don't know if I'm good. At, I don't know if I'm a good enough painter. I think it's a lifelong journey. You know, maybe I'll maybe I'll re I'll make the painting that I've always wanted to make when I'm 80 or something like that. It's just a journey. Why art?
think that's what art is at the end of the day is just like beautifying the world and allowing you to relate you know maybe on any other given day I probably wouldn't have thought to sit on this or if it was like or I wouldn't have thought that this grouping of things could be a chair for instance but like that's what art lets you do is you you know get to put different things together and like change the way people see themselves in the world that they're in by changing the visuals and by changing this like objects and like the colors that I don't know they see on a daily given basis if that makes any sense. What inspired you to even be an artist? So, like when did this start in your life? I mean it wasn't like I woke up one day and was like I'm gonna consciously be an artist. I just like like painting and I like the way of life of a painter, like the studio, you know, I and like when I'm not painting I'm anxious and my hands are itching to do it and it's you know the only thing that I can do for hours and hours and hours on end. The studio is the only place that I wanna be and like it's the only way that I really feel like I'm processing information. But I also think with painting or a, or with any form, it's like good to live in that unknown world you know you never really know what you're making until it's made and then even when it's made you don't know what it is yet for a while and then like maybe two years later you'll look at that painting and be like oh my god now I understand but like there was something in your body that understood before you even did and I think it's important to like just acknowledge that you're never going to know this entire world or this entire reality you'll it'll unfold itself slowly for you and like painting is like one of those ways that you can do it and it lets you live in in just like a kind of spiritual in-between zone between you know your dream life and reality. How are you feeling today? Pretty good, pretty good. I woke up this morning and I didn't know where I was for a second. Um, I think that happens like whenever you travel, you know, you just like wake up in a new place and you forget that you've traveled and then it's you're suddenly in New York. What kind of joy you have inside? Like, what kind of happiness? Like a jumping happy? Like a jumping jacks happy? Uh, um, happy to spread it out? I don't know. It's a mixture between like a calm kind of happy and a like kind of happy. It's like stuck in between. It filters between both. So, <laughs> but pretty calm, content, mm. excited. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for listening to me. Now I guess you know a little bit more about myself and I guess I find out a little bit more about myself while talking to you and I just want to say thank you or an Arabic shukran or give a shout out to Freaky Fridge Entertainment and the Rose family. Thank you very much.